hello and welcome back to the channel as you saw on the picture today we will open this graphics card and replace the thermal pads and thermal paste so let's start it first of all I see it it's a bit older it's a GTX 1080 8 gigabyte is from uh, KFR 2 I think this is from Galax. It's a very good card. It's still powerful to the to the date. And this is uh, I bought it used to get to my little cousin's PC. I think he will be very very happy about this. But before I give it to him, I want to make sure everything is correct and it will be low temperatures. I tested it already, it's maxed out uh, uh, in around 78 uh, uh, degrees Celsius on the GPU and on this hotspot it was 98 degrees, so this was a bit worrying, worrying because this is why we will replace also the thermal pads and not just the thermal paste. So. I will shortly be back. I will just make sure to dust it out because it's very, very dusty. To, to replace the thermal pads and thermal paste, you will need some screwdrivers. This is my trusty kit from Lidl. It's not. I fix it. You will then need a uh, Thermal paste. I even want like to use the uh, thermal paste spreader, and you will also need the thermal pads. I have different sizes. What we will need it? What we will need? I will make the picture and uh, make sure that you will get the information. And. Also, maybe we will use the this thing calipers. Yeah, to measure the thickness of the thermal pads. So let's start. Make sure that you will not mix up the screws because otherwise you will have a bad time. I think we'll need to remove those screws. So let's start it with this one. This is going very easy. If you have, if you have this chance, use something like uh, this screwdriver with magnetic tip, so you can pick up the screws. This is very handy to have. And now that we remove, I think all the screws that it it holding it together, we can then gently turn it around and see if we oh yeah 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 it's going it's going. Just twist it a little bit. Really make sure there are no more screws that will not break something. We need to watch out for the cables, for the ventilation, otherwise I think we are good to go. Also here I think it's the, the ventilation also, or the lightning. And then just gently, gently pull it apart. This be, 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 be. Ah, yes, you see? There, there are two two uh, cables that we need to remove just then make sure to hold it somehow and then pull out this cable oh it's going very easy very nice and here we have the opening to open it GPU. 
How is this going? Oh, yeah, this is very, very hard, not even transparent enough. And also we need to clean that. I think we will also remove the back plate because I think there are even more um, those thermal pads. So we removed also this one. So I think if we just wiggle it enough, there are also, there, there is also, yeah, you see, there's a thermal pad. So yeah, we need to remove that. I think I will let it, no. It's going, it's going. Okay. This going down. Okay, good. Okay. Now we will also remove all the other screws. Yes, you need a, a smaller size screwdriver So again, I think this is all the screws. I think this should go just like that down. Or we forgot one or two screws. Mm, no, I think not. You see, every one, every one of the screws are out. So maybe, ah, oh yeah, okay, good. We just needed to pull it a bit harder. As you can see, there is not a lot of thermal pads here, so we will just remove those. The other ones are just standoffs. Good to know. So, we made the first step. The second step is to clean everything. So those three need to be one and a half millimeter thick. Yeah, you see, this is so crusty. This should be one millimeter thick. You can see this is really crusty. It doesn't even want to go down that well. This is really, really crusty. I think this is the problem also why we have so high temperatures.
So we can proceed to the next step. So here we will need 1.5 millimeter thermopads. So the finished product looked like that. We need to replace the thermal pads also on the chip itself. This is also very, very, very crusty. Use a plastic, um, yeah, tool to remove it. Do not use a screwdriver or something because you will damage your board and your graphic card will die. Doesn't wanna go down. This one it's very very tight on. This wasn't change. This I think this is the first still the first one on it. If can somebody confirm that that they saw it the same, yeah please make sure to make it in the comment. This is sh how should it look like? Clean. And when the thermal pads are installed, it should look like something like that. Well, I didn't have the full length of the thermal pad, but no worries. If you have everything covered, then it's it. It is okay. <laughs> so let's put the hints, hates heat sink back on it. This is the the first thing that we will install. So we will make the heatsink back on There will be Just watch out that the line will That the hole will Line in Just like that. Make it tight, but not make it tight too much. It just should be enough that you make the pressure on it.
I will not I will not replace the the big one on the back plate because I don't have the thermal pad thickness of this so this even so looks like it's in okay shape well it's also crossed but not so much like the this one's war so yeah this will be on So let's put these two together, the heatsink, the chip and the cooler itself. Align everything, watch out for the cables. And the last thing is to put back those four screws. And this is how you replace your thermal pads and thermal paste on this graphic card. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.